Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters, Book 1. We return to where Zoe just had a session with her therapist, after having been awake for a little while from her coma. And as we found out, she's been keeping a journal ever since she woke up. A very, very long one, which is a bit too long for me to read all in one sitting, but I really do want to read it, so let's just start with the first one and then I'll pepper the rest throughout. So, here's the first one. Tuesday, April 4th. Awake. Alive. Amnesiac. Doctor told me to keep a journal. Said it might help me deal with not remembering. Because this might be temporary, but it also might be permanent. A whole year. Lost. So, journal. Dictating. Voice to text. Expect some rambling. How to begin? Hello, diary? Hello, dear reader of my diary. No, I'm the only one who could be reading. I made sure of this. All the encryptions. And I'm certain I'll never read this because... Awkward. No matter. This is about the process of recording my thoughts. My days. My life. The days of my life. This is about... Remembering. So, key points. Been awake for a few days now. Still in bed most of the time, but drugs and implants and robotic appendages are helping make this a rapid recovery. A rapid physical recovery. Getting used to food. Food is lovely. They bring me the food and I eat the food. All of the food. And I eat all day. Weight gain will not be a problem. Dad wants me to join him in Mumbai. There's nothing for me here in Casablanca. An empty apartment painful memories. I can't stay here. But live with Dad? After all the things? As for my memories, not a whole lot of those. Not since before the whole ordeal. But Dad filled in a few of the gaps when I woke up. Reza vanished. I went searching for him. I discovered the Wadi Corp Dream Machine Project slash Conspiracy. The story... Reza was chasing. I also found out that my mother was involved. Except I didn't know that she was my mother. Also, I didn't know my mother mother was alive. Also, she put me in a coma. A summary. Went off after investigative journalist ex-boyfriend on silly rescue mission. Discovered corporate plot to control people's dreams. Found out my father's been lying to me all my life and that my mother isn't dead. In short, I thwarted a global conspiracy, and in return, Mummy Dearest injected me with an experimental drug. It's a sordid story. I could probably sell it for a billion... new... How do you pronounce it? I don't know what that is. But hey, bonus, I saved the world. Made some tasty lemonade from those pesky lemons. No, following Dad to Mumbai is not an option. I'll have to do this on my own now. Without Dad. Without a safety net. Without memories. I'm Zoe Castillo. Awake, alive, and amnesiac. Alright, I'll read the others later. God, I love this game. I just... Uh, I feel like I could just walk in a circle. <laughs> for like a half hour. Just The walking animations are so good! Look, oh, it, uh. All right, let's look around the therapist's office. Uh, what's your name, Roman? Roman? Roman, okay. Roman's better than Roman. I could stare out this window for hours, but the doc will probably get really annoyed. Nah, who cares? You saved the world, I think you've earned the right to look out a window. <laughs> look at these things. Digital painting. It's like a constantly constantly morphing version of a... Uh, what is it called? A Rorschach? Is, is it called a Rorschach? Like the, the ink blot things? Rorschach something? I'm not sure. I see... No. No, I, I really shouldn't. It's a trap. A psychological trap. It absolutely is. Never give in to it. If any doctor ever asks you what you see, you say nothing. Or, I see ink. Or, paper. 
exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No tawdry romance novels, fantasy or science fiction, unfortunately. What is this machine? Coffee? Oh, look at that. Little cups, those look like sugar cubes. If I drink more of that awful synthetic coffee at this point, I'll really need therapy. Synthetic coffee? Ew, that doesn't sound good. It's on shrink stuff. Shrinky books. <laughs> Shrinky books. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Is that a dragon? Well, it looks like a dragon. What does that mean? What does that say about me? That I'm... Um, into dragons? Dragons are cool. Maybe it's the white dragon. Ah. <gasps> so many cool things. A hollow sculpture. Neat. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. Good old cephalopods. If that's real wood, it must have cost a fortune. It looks real. Not the sort of thing you'd expect to find in a therapist's office. Yeah, I guess in this future world, most things, you know, just like the coffee, are probably synthetic and simulated. Knock on wood. Hmm. But I'd often get to do that with real wood. Ikea's plastique just doesn't cut it, knockwise. Think he would mind if I sat in his chair? He probably would. Select item in the list to make sure to swipe the card after order. What the heck is this thing? Alright, I think I've seen everything in here. Oh, not quite. No therapist's office would be complete without a chaise long. Never used it. Would feel like a dork. I could take a nap and wake up with the doctor leaning over me and... No, no stop it. Stupid authority figure, sexual fantasy. Time to leave. <laughs> yes, okay, let's go. We need to get out of here. Permit. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. But your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. You have 24 hours to comply. Fuck off, you have 24 hours to comply. Well, that, that makes absolutely no sense. If, if you do not comply, you will be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. The threats counterproductive and punishable by law. You have 20... How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. 24 hours. Uh, phone call? Hey. Hey, where are you? Just leaving therapy on my way to the shop. What's up? Mm, neck deep. 
Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella bites, sure. And lazy, not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend, lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pig. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. See you soon. Goals. Get lunch for Reza from Nella Bites, a food cart outside Shashadri Tower, which would be you. Ooh, look at those lens flares. Beautiful. So yeah, this is the city of the future. It looks very clean up in Shishadri Tower in the therapist's office, but down here... It's a bit more... grimy. It's very sterile. And cold feeling. Everything is just, like, cold metal. Alright, let's get something to eat and... Well, maybe we can help her solve her problems with the permit. Nayla has a nickname for her mobile kitchen, and that nickname is Carl, because Marxist. What the hell is going on? What's that noise? Something above us? Oh god, that thing's huge. Okay, what were we doing? Oh, right, food. Right, Carl, Carl Marx, gotcha. Nella Bites is one of the best food carts in all of Propast. Whatever she's cooking is super tasty and incredibly unhealthy, but. Pff. Nella, street chef, Marx's spark plug, and friend of mine. I do love her in smaller doses. Did you see that? Do I want to get involved? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Actually, probably something quite bad could happen, but... I can't believe the eye is harassing Nella. She sells food. It's not like she's doing anything illegal. Is she? I mean, I know she's politically involved, but there's no law against being Marxist. What was all that about? Fucking eye. Making up shit so that they can harass anyone who doesn't toe the line. Now I'm going to waste the whole afternoon standing in line at the district office for a permit I don't fucking need. <sighs> Never mind that this is just the tip of the garbage heap. They're restricting transit between sectors, adding more security to all the metro stations and ports, requiring paperwork for anything beyond local lines. I mean, what the fuck? I knew Parliament was tight with the Syndicate, but this is Chongo Man. They're planning something. Probably going to hunt down and arrest revolutionaries next. That's me, fuck then. I'm sure you Word is they rounded up all the European liberty folks in the Berlin district last week, detained them on suspicion of terrorism. Terrorism! For speaking their minds! And okay, for releasing clouds of biography. I know that clique, they're harmless. It was just a call to action. That's fucking terrorism now. Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse, either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta! If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport. The fucking Republic of Los Angeles. Hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Lea Uminska is the best choice. No one's gonna put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance, and she is a socialist. She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. Anyway, what are you having? Having? Lunch, Zozo. For your turbo. Listen, I have a new supplier for Porkwurst, the collective down on Caprova. Organic meat, the real deal, none of that vat-grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. Sausages or cheese soup? Hmm. The pork sausages sound totally delicious. 
I'm not sure Reza will agree, but he needs to be more adventurous when it comes to his diet. The pork sausages sound delicious, but Reza plays it safe when it comes to food. Europolitan through and through. No tolerance for organic meats. I'm working on it, but baby steps. Eh, I'm the one getting the food. I'm gonna pick what I want. Let's, uh, let's be adventurous. You can eat with it or deal. The pork sausage. Let's live dangerously. The pork sausages sound perfect. Dobra, coming up. You should join the protest this afternoon. We're marching on the sector office. I think it would take a lot more than a political rally for Mira to give me time off. I'm gonna have to pass. Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Thanks, Nella. If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those cunts know we're watching the Watchmen. <laughs> right, sounds good. Yep, future world, not exactly... Everyone's not exactly happy. Oppression, political problems. You know, the usual. Can I join in on random people's conversations? Hi. You have an interesting shirt there. <laughs> Looks like a, a dog or a wolf or something. Some cartoon character or something. The best food in Propaz comes from the street vendors and their food carts. Hands down, no contest. I've got crunchy crickets, fried fire ants, spoiled beetles, and juicy moth larvae tacos. What'll it be? Ew. That does not sound good. Scorpion on a stick, that's it. Best in pro past. No thanks. I'm good. We've got steaming hot Shaolong Bao, Sha Gao, Chong Yu Bing. Best in pro past. What can I get you? I have no idea what any of that is. This food scares me. Crow Cowboy? Crow Cowboy? Is that a reference? I'm pretty sure that's a reference to Crow, isn't it? And I vaguely remember... I, I swear I remember. A long time ago, I think it was in The Longest Journey, the first game. Didn't Crow say something about a cow... Being a cowboy, something about cowboys? Vaguely. I vaguely, vaguely remember something like that, but I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering wrongly. Anyway, it looks like we have a new journal entry. Or something. Something's flashing in the bottom right. Is that new goals? Oh yeah, new goals. Okay. Drop his lunch off at the hand that feeds down by the riverside. Okay. Your guide to Propost. Well, if it ain't my favorite cowgirl. Can I point you in the direction of something, darling? Sure, where's the hand that feeds? This office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks, right behind the Collapse Memorial. Show me Prista Vista, please. The Pamatnik Collapse. Planning on a trip down the river? You got it, cowgirl. Road past docks, coming right up. I hope you get to where you're going. And if you ever get lost again, you know Crow Boys got your back. All right, looks like it's right there. Simple enough. I'm just gonna wander around though. I wanna explore this city. This is fascinating. Those ads, for some reason, give me goosebumps. The icky kind. Ah, uh, that's the symbol that the people in the... the dream world had, right? So I'm assuming that's an ad for the dream machines? Whoa, look at that dude's hair or whatever that is. Yeah, all these, uh, all these future clothings and styles are really cool looking. I mean, even what Zoe's wearing herself is really cool looking. Watch your Hulker. What do you want? What can I get you, lady? Next in line, please. There's no one in line. Yeah, and this, like, this kind of style in particular, that shirt and 
Just the way his whole head looks and all that stuff just reminds me of the original The Longest Journey. I don't think you saw too much of that in Dreamfall. I don't remember seeing... It's between Wolf and Ominska, isn't it? Gross and Rebus are not even competing. Yeah, the Alliance has screwed up too often, and Manifesto never stood a chance. Dawn is the only sensible alternative. You mean Unity, of course. Not Dawn. You said Dawn, but you meant Unity. Um... Right? I'm voting Wolf. You're what? Are you Chango Dupa? He's a fascist chauvinist pig. What about Lia Uminska? She's a sozy seeker. She's weak and she's soft. With her in charge, the walls are coming down and the barbarian hordes will wash over Europe. That's so racist. Telling the truth is being a racist now. Face it, we don't have room for more immigrants. It's time we focus on rebuilding what Europolis is all about. Europe. It's like I don't know you anymore. I'm sorry, do you mind? See what I mean? Immigrants everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do mind. It is my right as a citizen to listen in on people's conversations. It's in the Constitution. Go ahead and check. It's funny, though, that these issues are... Well... They've... They've been issues for forever, even today. They're just kind of transported into a future time, but they're the same sorts of issues. Moderates, extremists, racism, immigration. This city is amazing. It's huge, sprawling, and there's so much here. So much life. Oh, that's uh, the shirt that the woman was wearing. It's this thing. There's absolutely nothing I would want in there. I'm not in the mood for freeze-dried synthetic whale urine jelly today, thanks very much. <laughs> oh god, that sounds bad. <laughs> Constantine Wolf, born to lead. And get my hand chewed off? No chance. I'll be tossing my garbage in the gutter like a normal person. Rental lab. Reality. <laughs> Wait a minute, what does that say? It's almost too blurry to read, but it says, Looking for a lab? Mad scientists look no further. I'm probably totally going the wrong way. More future fashion. So cool looking. Her face is kind of scary though. Almost looks like it's an eggshell that's slightly cracked. Cape Town University. Bioscience, Bioscience Department, Student Laboratory. Madam Nix. She's famous. I've heard of her. Alright. Probably need to head on down there, I think. It's probably where the hand that feeds is. There's no way you can convince me that Kaiser Constantine... Do you really have to call him that? It's so derogatory. Constantine Wolf doesn't go around calling your candidate names. No? Have you seen the graffiti? I don't think Wolf has the time to walk around with a spray can. His fascio army does. They're everywhere, Atsy. Who do you think is behind the checkpoints at the iBots? The Syndicate. And who's behind the Syndicate? The corporations. European Dawn wants to free us from corporate rule. 
They want the people to run this city. They want democracy and freedom. Unlike Leia Uminska. Oh, come on. Are you going to argue that the Social Democrats are in the corpse's pockets? Not my words. Just repeating what they say. They is in the Kaiserlings. I told you, Duper, don't use that word. Duper? Duper? Dupec? Whatever you do, don't vote for the Kaiser. Don't listen to her. She's just a sozy bobo. So, a, a what? A sozy bobo? What the hell does that mean? Also, do they have umbrellas out as, like, fashion statements? Because it's not actually raining. It's kind of weird. Garbage bin? There's an invisible garbage bin here. And get my hand chewed off? No chance. I'll Sounds be tossing like my garbage in the gutter like a normal here, person. Bruder. You need to turn back and head home. So, what did he do? He turned back and headed home. What, well, that's it? That's your story? <laughs> hey, look. A day without excitement is a good day in my book. Oh, well, fair enough. Man, the voice acting's so good. Another candidate. Dependable. I promise five more years of stability and dependability. Artificial sun, whoa. Apparently it's not just an artificial sun, but also the wire singularity for Propast. Which means there could be a wormhole inside that burning ball of plasma. Sounds safe. Doesn't sound safe, but it sounds freaking awesome. I know, I know. I'm on my way, honest. With my lunch? Of course. Pff. Who do you take me for, Miss Distracted? Welcome to the Sunshine yes. Plaza by yes, MCG. Yes, that's exactly who I take you Original from. Original consumer oh, goods. Oh, little Fay. Sunshine Five into minutes, your life. tops. Right. And you do know where the office is, right? I'm bad with directions, granted, but, you know, come on. <laughs> All right, just checking. Keep the river on your left and you'll find it eventually. Oh, go away. Oh, and see you soon. The city just feels so alive. It's amazing. Not actually sure if his office is here. Sun and Shine Plaza by OCG. Original consumer goods. Making your life a little brighter. Pigeons! Oh yeah. Let's head on down Let's to the river. Along. Nothing to see here. Is it? Is that... There are so many dream drivers. The city should do something. It's unseemly. Ooh. What they should do is ban dream machines. Seriously? Because some people can't moderate their dream time. Because it can't be healthy. Just look around. They're addicts. And not just the dream junkies, but regular people. I have friends who... I really don't think the government has any right to interfere. Let the market decide. If the dream machines are bad for you, we'll find out sooner or later. Later might be too late. They should do studies, and until they know more, restrict sales to... I can't believe you're advocating censorship. I use the Dreamer every day, and look at me. I'm doing perfectly fine. But perfectly fine. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Can we have some privacy, please? <gasps> no. Yeah, once again, classic problems. Drug use, you know, do people that abuse it, should that mean it should be taken away from everybody? Dream junkies. That would happen if such a device existed. That right there is why I don't use a dream machine and why I think they're so dangerous. Just leave me alone. I'm having 
best dream. I think just disconnecting them from the dream machine could be dangerous. And I'd probably get beaten up for trying to help. Yeah. What is this thing? I've asked everyone what those towers are, and no one knows for sure. Some say anti-grav units from before the collapse, others say they're vents. <laughs> okay. No one knows. Oh my god, there's so much trash in the water. Jeez. Alright, it's been a little while. Let's take a look at another one of the diary entries. Let's look at number two. Monday, April the 10th. Dear diary, etc. One week. On my feet and feeling fine. Scary how quickly you can get over being in a coma for a year with the help of modern science. I barely have bed sores. So, what now? Reza and I are talking about getting together again, and I've been thinking. He's living in Europolis. I'm rootless. No roots. I can go anywhere. It, it doesn't matter. I'm starting a new life. I get to pick where to begin. Yes. Relationship. I work fast. Is this a good thing? It feels like it could be. Reza visited me almost every day when I was sick. He never stopped talking to me. It was the first thing I saw when I woke up. Okay, yeah, so we broke up because it wasn't working, but... That was before. This is after. And I'm different. We both are. We've both turned a page. Begun a, new, begun a new chapter. It's a good thing. I think I will join Reza in Europolis. Why not? It'll be an adventure. <laughs> We've both begun a new chapter. Indeed. Chapters. Uh, the next one's pretty short. Let's do one more. Friday, April 14th, so that's four days after the previous one. I've decided to cut off contact with Dad, at least for now. This may turn out to be a bad idea, but I'm angry and disappointed. I can't forgive him for keeping so many secrets from me for so many years. Telling me my mother was dead when she so clearly wasn't? Even if she was an evil bitch, and she is, and even if she ended up trying to kill me, and she did, that's not something you do to your only child. You don't lie. Not about that shit. I hope these feelings will pass. Or maybe hope isn't the right word. I'll keep an open mind, but for now, and for the foreseeable future, you will not be a part of my life. My life right now is all about getting back on my feet, emotionally, I'm walking just fine, and moving to Europolis to live with Reza. That's enough. For now. You don't have any other customers. Ooh, what's this? Those things look kind of creepy. I have no idea what these things are. Is this the hand that feeds? No, wait, no. That's, this is an apartment, isn't it? Yeah, there's no sign. Let's see who this is. What do I do now? I don't know what to do now. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to do that yet. Feel free to move on. There are better times. You know, you don't have to stop and pretend you're interested. I don't have any important information. I'm not relevant. I'm just a person selling stuff. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of fourth wall breaking there. That's it. And that's a bigger version of the other things I just saw. What the hell is that? It looks like a statue, but I almost feel like it's robotic and would move. A 
Panel closed. Closed panel. Uh, hello? Hi, um, wrong address? <laughs> Another mysterious tower? But there's a lot of excitement in there. They were leaving in Casablanca. All right, see how close I am. Get your ready, partner. Where are you off to today? Res Show me Prista Vista, please. Not sure what the Pamatnik collapse. You've Brandon only bought the license the to use you it. You got it, pal girl. Row past docks, coming right up. It was a pleasure serving you this fine day, miss. Seems like I've mostly gone in a circle, I guess. But yeah, I just need to keep following the river, and I will find it. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Cheery stuff. Yeah, this place really does just feel so alive. I feel like there's so much to see that I could never even hope to take in the whole city. Which I suppose is how a city should feel, I guess. Another one. The only way to help dream junkies is to forcibly disconnect them and put them in rehab. But who's going to pay for that? Not what it called. Of course not. That would hurt their bottom line. Cowabunga burger. Double wolf bacon. And fresh avocados. What the hell is that? So many of the dream junkies. A dream all day, dreamt all my life. I stay awake and dream all night. I dream about tomorrow and how it will be I ought to know it's up to me Be who you believe in Keep moving, keep dreaming A dream is just a dream, no big deal I mean I dream, but I keep it real I dream to make it happen, I dream to create But more and more I dream just to get away That was really pretty, although for some reason his mouth isn't moving. I don't know if that's on purpose. I mean, with all this future technology, who knows what's going on.
That's really cool. This life is heavy. I think he's starting a new one. I hope I'm not cutting him off mid-song, but I think he started a new one. For those who suffered and those who perished, they will never be forgotten. For those who lost, for those who were lost. The Collapse, August 8th, 2209. The day everything went to hell. I remember only fragments. It was a scary day. Ah, yes. You know, she gets a lot of mierda, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm voting manifesto this election. The Marxists? No bullshit. What's the alternative, eh? Constantine Wolf? There's Uminska. She's weak. She points wherever the prevailing wind blows. I'm sticking with the Alliance. The Blues? That's just gross. Huh, <laughs> funny. What's wrong with Dieter Gross and the Alliance? Better the evil you know than the evil you don't. A clean slate is the only way to go. Someone with no hand in the corporate pockets. Say whatever you want about Marta Rebus and Manifesto, they got no ties to the Syndicate. No, they're on their own. No support from anyone. The Marxists make a lot of noise, but what does it amount to? Just a lot of noise. Iminska is the only choice that makes sense. At least no one here is voting Kaiser Constantine and European Dawn, right? Ugh, talk about gross. I read in the hand that Wolf's been on trial twice for rape. Acquitted, but artsy seriously. The Kaiser gets no vote from me. He's a gap for Dharma poo to that one. What's up, Soir? I don't care, as long as we end up clubbing. I'm up for a bit of bright sign. Oh, there's a Sounds super bon. couple enjoying the night. Let's get to a first for some bro -wa. I'm down with that. We can lay a super plan over Bira. Crowboy's here to help you find your way in Propath. I think I'm here. <coughs> Excuse me. Rezo's office should be somewhere very, very, very Watch close. It. Pardon? Hey, you are no problem. I'm here to give you directions. Re show me planning on a trip down the river? Don't be a Yeah, it's like right here. And in, in fact it seems like it is literally right here. Where is it? Can't be further down here. Hey, my from walk, you need a wake you up. Look like you could need some directions, miss. Maybe it's around here? Oh yeah, here we go. That's the hand that feeds logo. It's conveniently pointing the way to the entrance. Wait, which way is it even pointing? It kind of looks like it's pointing to the right, but I'm pretty sure it's here, isn't it? Yeah, here, here it is. So I wonder where he actually works. I mean, he works at the hand that feeds, but I mean, what does he do? What is this place? very long message. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. Give me the liberty to know, to utter, and to argue freely according to conscience, above all, above all liberties. There's writing everywhere. It's this weird kind of holographic stuff, too. <laughs> Something from George Orwell here. 
Okay, well, I think we're going to end this episode here before it becomes, like, 25 hours long, because I honestly could play this game probably straight through until the end. There's Reza over there, so I'm going to go give him his probably cold now food um, in the next episode. Yeah, this game is amazing. It's so unbelievably amazing. I just spent, like, 45 minutes just walking to Reza's place of work to give him food. Because I just got completely lost in the city. In a good way, not in a I have no idea where to go way, but in a I, I feel swallowed up by it because it's just so huge and so alive and filled with conversations and people and things and God, it's wonderful. It's really, really wonderful. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.